So here's some Remington ouch, factory 115 grain. Let's see what it's coming out. Uh, a little shorter. This one is, uh, can you see that? This one is 1.11. My book tells me to go 1135. And most of mine are a little longer than that. 1139. 1139. One one three eight five. Uh, the factory one plunks the same here in our case gauge, and looks and feels real similar. So yeah, I have no no concerns about shooting that. I think it'll do just fine. So our next question is to crimp or not to crimp. I don't know why this is a hot button issue. I don't know that I need it. I do have an open stage. Uh, tool head uh, spot number four is empty right now because I'm running those RCBS dies and they, uh, they don't have a crimp. They have a cedar and a crimp. So these are semi crimped. I pulled the crimping part back so it doesn't do much. It mostly just sets it. And then I went to tell, I kind of just had a smooth edge I'm wondering what this will even do and if it's even necessary. I could back that one off quite a bit and do the crimping in station four really easily. So I guess for our next loadout, we're gonna do 5.2 on the CFE pistol. And then we'll do maybe a set of 5.2 for the crimp. And then I probably should go up one more and do a 5.4 because I think that's my max. So according to my Lee manual, the max of CFE piss, let's see, uh, right here, CFE 115 grain jacketed CFE pistol 5.4 is the max. So they have 4.9 as a start. We started at 5.0. So we could do a 5.2 and a 5.4 and we could try the crimp. I think maybe we'll do that. And then we'll get our, we'll get our seating lock nut in here so we can make sure it doesn't move on us. I realized that I set my seating die without the lock ring. So I've got it perfectly dialed in, but we're gonna have to undo that in order to put that lock ring on. All right, well, I had a really good time. I'm gonna dump my powder back into my, to my tub and uh, we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching, Eagle Run 2-3.